Today I'm giving you a plan on how to become a profitable trader or day trader in the next 90 days. That's for those of you who want to have a step by step, you want to have some shortcuts, you want to get to your goals faster. So that should be pretty helpful. I'm in Da Nang here in Vietnam. The view from my hotel room is really amazing. I have the, pretty much like the, the suite here, which is really nice. I'll show you more in a minute, but let's dive into what you can do to get profitable in 90 days. I mean, the only thing missing here is a table to record my videos. It's pretty annoying to not have any table. Like they have a small desk here in the corner, but that's just not cool to face a wall when you record videos. So here I am at this hotel. I'm gonna be facing the ocean instead. I would agree it's a much, much, much better view. But yeah, how do you become a profitable trader in 90 days? What steps you gotta take? What do you have to go through? Let's dive right in, because this is gonna be really good for taking some shortcuts that will work. Before we do any of this, you need to know where you're at in trading. Like, what stage are you at? How is it going for you? Is it going well, not well? What I like to do for this is I like to pick the three areas of trading. So you think about risk management, psychology, and strategy. And then you rank yourself on these three categories. How good are you out of 10 on those three categories? So think about how that's going for you. Is it going to be maybe a five for strategy? Is it gonna be a eight for mindset? Most people will be lower on mindset perhaps. Is it more like a nine out of 10 on risk management? So you have a good plan to manage your risk. No matter what that is, you wanna rank yourself. You wanna know how you're doing in terms of psychology, risk management, and strategy. And then we can move on to the next part. All right, so next step is you wanna split your time with the categories you gotta work on. So you give yourself, let's say 90 days to become profitable. That's your goal, that's your target. Now. If you've got two things to work on, let's say strategy and mindset, your risk management is already good, then you forget that part. But you will split those 90 days into two parts, so 45 days each, to work on psychology and then strategy. If you've got three to work on, then that's 30 days each. 30 days strategy, 30 days risk management, 30 days mindset. And that way you're able to work on all three parts. What you never want to do, and that's very crucial, you don't want to be there and have to work on mindset, strategy, and risk management all at the same time. That is the recipe for disaster, and it's very hard to do. It's very hard to focus on three things at a time, and usually you won't get good at any of them because you focus on all three at the same time. And that's what you don't want to do, of course. Instead, once you've identified what you want to work on, you've got to split your time. No matter how many days you give yourself to become profitable, split your time to work on the things you got to work on within those time frames. So like I said, if you have 90 days, that's your goal to become profitable, then split your time 30, 30, 30 for strategy, risk, and mindset. Now within those 30 days, you wanna go fully, fully all in. Like you don't wanna do anything else than just, let's say strategy for 30 days, or you don't wanna do anything else than mindset for 30 days. All the things you read, all the things you learn about, all the videos you watch, should be only focused on that particular aspect of trading, nothing else. So what this does is, is becoming a lot easier to achieve something if you spend all your time on that one thing and nothing else. You can see, for example, any given day, where you start your day, you have like 10 things to work on, 10 things to do for the end of the day. You'll probably accomplish like maybe two, maybe three maximum, but not more than that. If you have only one or two things to accomplish, it's a lot easier to accomplish them that day because you can focus on these exact things for the whole day. And that's what you wanna to replicate to trading. We wanna have a goal and then in a month or in any period of time you give yourself, it could even be two weeks to a month, you wanna do just that thing for the whole week or month. And from there, once that is done, let's talk about some shortcuts you can take to get to your goals faster and actually get to trading profitably faster. It all starts on what we call the feedback loop. So how fast are you able to get feedback from your trading, from what you do in the market, to know if you're doing something well or not well in the market. If you trade a weekly chart, it's gonna take maybe three, four weeks, five weeks for you to get a trade close. So that's a five week feedback loop. You take a trade now, five weeks from now, you're gonna have a feedback, oh, is it good or not? Am I winning or losing? It's gonna take you maybe a year or two years to figure out whether you're profitable long term or not. And that's just not good for most traders. Now, if you trade a lower time frame, you're gonna get a feedback that's a lot faster. You trade a five minute chart, you take a trade, 10 minutes later, it's closed. That's really fast feedback. And then you can gather that feedback really quickly on how you are doing in trading. Now, the hack here, you know it, it's nothing new. It's called <laughs> backtesting. If you backtest something, then you get feedback really quick on how it's working. Then you can know if it's working long term or not. 
by just spending a few hours on your backtest and that's much better than wasting a lot of time in the live market or trying strategies on your own account. You don't have to trade these strategies off for one week on your own account. Do a backtest, see how they perform long term and then go with that. When it comes to strategies, I don't expect you to create your own strategy in 90 days and trade it profitably. It could happen. I teach my students to do exactly that with my create your own strategy course and that works really well for them. But if you don't want to create your own strategy, then just pick something online, but pick parts in different places. So find good ideas online, find websites where you can learn some tools and techniques and it's your job to of course put them together and make something that you believe in. You can use strategies online as a idea generator so as a way to get more thoughts more tools or more ways to trade but then you want to be able to create your own thing eventually that you're able to trade in the market so you don't want to just copy something else online make something your own still if you have 30 days to focus on your strategy that's plenty of time to do that you're gonna have a lot of time to back test to go through ideas test things out see what works what doesn't work and of course you have a lot of time to gather ideas and do what we'll talk about just next Next thing is who can you reach out to that could help you achieve your goals in trading? Who has achieved what you want to achieve in life or in trading? And who can you connect with? It could be traders, it could be people who are investors, it could be people who've done something you want to do, but you want to be able to connect with these people. And I've done this myself quite well, I think over the past few years, by starting to connect with traders, asking to interview them. And you don't have to interview them, but you have to be able to find a way to add value to them. You have to be able to provide something that they are looking for. You got to help them out, then connect with them. And then you can either go to meetups. There are plenty of meetups out there where you can meet traders meetups.com you can go through some events you can organize your own event you can reach out to people online by sending emails and the key to remember here is that when you want to make connections with traders like this some are going to respond some are not going to respond it's just a game of numbers overall is you got to go through some people who say no you got to go to some people who don't reply for you to then have people who you connect with and make good relationships with that's the old game to it. But think about who's doing something I want to do, who's maybe trading and traveling, who's trading for a prop firm, who's managing a fund, who started his own fund that I can connect with to then learn from them. So you want to make a list of these people, reach out to them. I have at least 10 to 20 so that you have at least a good number of people who will say yes and connect with you. And then that's just part of the game. You go through this and you make connections and you have a much better mindset that will help you improve a lot. Then you have someone you can ask questions to anytime you want. You can go to them. If you have an issue or problem, you can ask them questions and they will be able to help you out. And that will be a big advantage to become a profitable trader in 90 days or less. The last step into all of this framework is what I call track and readjust, which means every 30 days or even like I would say because you have only 90 days, every week you go back and you review how you are doing. Like what's your performance? What have you accomplished that week? Are there things you're happy about? Some things you're not happy about? Some things you do well? Some things you could do better? What can you improve in your process? What can you improve in how you're doing? And if you do this every week, there's no way you cannot improve. You always find things you could do better and that would be very useful for trading. Now, if you don't track and you don't readjust over time and you don't see how you are performing, then you're just gonna like make years pass and then wonder at the end where your time went. You're gonna be confused because you spent so much time on trading but then it's not working at all because you never took time to review your things and find ways to become better. So every week I do my weekly review. I look at things I did well that week things I accomplished, things that I could do better next time. I look at what worked, what didn't work, what can I continue doing, what can I stop doing, and what can I start doing to help me in achieving my goals. You could use a similar process, could be the exact same thing or it could be different, that's up to you, but that will make a big difference. So comment below the video, tell me what you like from this video, what tips you will apply to your own trading, will you follow my plan or not? I wanna know because I'm using a lot of my time here to create videos for you on how to become a profitable trader really quickly, giving you some shortcuts, but I want you to apply them. You need to be able to put these in place in your own trading so let me know below what you will do with those if you're not subscribed yet make sure you click the subscribe button below i publish videos like this three times a week two of my own and then one interview every single week on sundays and the other ones come in the week and I look forward to giving you value improve your trading and achieve your goals of becoming a profitable trader and living the lifestyle you want on your own terms ciao